Senhoras e senhores, sejam muito bem-vindos a mais um episódio de Red Dead Redemption. Estamos aqui hoje, é o 12 º episódio, se não me engano. Se você tá perdido, eu sou o Patif, estamos trazendo o conteúdo de Red Dead Redemption. E no topo da descrição tem um link para que você possa assistir todos os episódios, então é só clicar que você assiste tudo em sequência. No vídeo de hoje estamos aqui para fazer algumas missões. E uma das missões hoje creio que vai ser importante, tá? A gente tem inicialmente uma missão com o, o Lenny, eu não sei o que é, ele quer só falar comigo, daí a gente vai saber. Mas aqui em cima a gente tem uma missão do Rosia com o John Marston E eles normalmente têm boas missões Então a gente vai fazer primeiro a do Lenny, depois a gente sobe e faz a do Rosia com o John Marston, tá? Uh, uma notícia é que a gente tá avançado já no capítulo 3 E pelo que eu dei pesquisando aí, isso é mais ou menos a metade do jogo, tá bom? O Lenny é o que ficou doidão no bar daquela vez, né, com a gente Foi da hora, foi mais ou da hora Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Ok. <risos> Te falar que a informação foi boa mesmo, mano. Interessante. A gente está dando bom, boas maneiras de levantar dinheiro nesse jogo, velho. Isso é interessante. Dá uma olhadinha no meu stats. Um, tô tranquilo, não preciso comer. O meu cavalo também tá tranquilo, então só vambora. Ben já tá pegando o cavalo dele. Eu vou dar a volta e pegar o meu prestado aqui pra não dar pepino. Desde o último vídeo estamos com a brega, né? Agora não é mais o pé de pano. O pé de pano tá descansando, tá tirando férias. Coitadinha do pé de pano. O pé de pano trabalhou muito. A brega é um bom cavalo, viu? Fiquem tranquilos. Ela teve uma situação meio desagradável comigo na cidade recentemente. Ah, nem... Nossa, deixa eu só mostrar pra vocês. Se liga a minha recompensa em Valentine. 265 dólares, meus queridos, tá impagável, impagável. I might have met these crazies before. You been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's Nem terrified. Não. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamar. That's for sure. <laughs> is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well. I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. <laughs> I guess it does. Bom, eu não vou nem com nem comentar, tá bom? Esse diálogo aí. Vamos deixar de jeito que tá. Feels like uh... folks. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Concentra. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. 
If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. Let me ask you a find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. But where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Ah, deu um tapa no cabelo do Arthur. Viu? <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Viu uma antiga igreja, se era interessante, não sei bem porquê. Let's see where he's going. You're on God me now. Damn it. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow at least. Vamos cavalgar tranquilamente. I think I see something. End of the avenue. Between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mouth up there. Good enough to me. <laughs> Come on. We can get a view. Deixa eu me preparar. É, aqui tem um, um rifle com boas balas e a Lancaster de arma silenciosa. Eu tenho facas, então tá tranquilo, manos. From that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Mm -hmm. They got that house locked down real tight. You got men I got you. Off near the porch. You got men covering the house. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Cara, eu não vou mandar você ir lá, não. You gonna make a call? A Tchernia Genemich. Just give gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? 
Atire na dinamite. É ali, será? É aqui, ó. Nossa, peguei. Meu Deus. Tá, não tô conseguindo acertar, velho. Ah, velho, não é possível isso. Jogou muito mal, velho. Vai, bota a cara, bota a cara, vacilão. Vai, bota a cara, filha. Vamos, fodido. Ah, meu Deus. Mano, tem umas carroças aqui, velho. Será que essa carroça tem arma? Ei, isso pode ser promessa. Aqui. Come on. Isso é cheio de novos rifles. We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Pera aí. Essa casa deve ter coisa pra caramba pra roubar, velho. Eu vou marcar no mapa pra voltar aqui depois. Ah, não tá deixando eu marcar. Deixa eu ver mais ou menos onde fica. Fica aqui pra baixo. Fechou. Vou ter que voltar aqui depois, mano. E agora tem, 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 tem chance de eu, de eu ferrar com a missão. Talvez tenha dado bom, mano. Hey, Riders, coming our way. Ok, keep a cool head. 
black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we answer. deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines back. Alpha, let's go. Caraca, mano, mandei duas balinhas agora, hein? Mas foi o pior sniper da história, velho. Você tá maluco. Hey, I like it, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But no, but nothing. I mean Dutch. And everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. O Lenny é top mesmo, mano. O Lenny sai pros rolê, a galera é confiável. O Lenny, Lenny é top, filhão. Hey, the camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Se essa missão foi boa, imagina, imagina com a, com o Jose e com o John. Você é top, filho. Alpha, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Depois preciso levar na cidade só pra dar um rifle de ferrolho, velho. Só pra dar um boost nas modificações dele. Bom, antes de ir, deixa eu ver se tem ensopado. Que a gente pelo menos vai meio boladinho pra, pra treta, entendeu? Que agora acho que a próxima, a próxima missão deve ser foda. Eu mandei, né? É tipo assim, quando eu vou jogar e principalmente trazer gameplay pra vocês, eu tenho que fazer tipo, tudo da maneira mais equilibrada possível no jogo, sabe? Tipo, eu não gosto muito de. De tipo, de pegar arma mais forte ou de apelar, tá ligado? Eu gosto, tipo assim, de. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. Ah, o racismo tá, tá muito, o racismo tá muito forte aí na na, na história do jogo. É óbvio também pela época que a gente tá, né, claro. Um filme que é bem legal é o Jungle, né? Pra gente ver exatamente essa situação, como tá e tudo mais. Ué, eu pensei que eu ia comer a sopa, não que eu ia pegar um pãozinho pra depois. Eu queria comer. Deixa eu pegar alguns. Importante eu ter comida pra levar na viagem. Eu queria comer, mano. Cadê o ensopado? Ali é a fogueira. 
I met a woman town. Damn it, Pearson. About voting. Women voting. Acho que tá sem comida aqui. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. Tamo não, mano. As coisas tão bacanas. As coisas tão bacana. Confia. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. <risos> words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Deixa eu ver como é que eu tô de comida. Não muito bem, na real. Vou pegar um pãozinho. Vambora. Deixa eu fumar um cigarro também. Enquanto a gente vai à próxima missão, né, velho? A gente já vai recuperando tudo que a gente conseguir. Um. Mais um último E agora vamos comer alguma coisa Que me dê energia Tem nada. Aqui ó O Jin me dá os dois Energia e Dead Eye. E aí, você? Qual que é a boa? Rossi e John Marston. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right, I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Let's grab my chapel. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So what exactly are we doing? Que This is the moonshine right we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy. And a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Então é o seguinte, vocês lembram quando no último vídeo a gente roubou essa bebida dos Braithwaite, né? Lá naquela, lá no pântano e tal. O que o Rossi tá falando é que a gente não tem como vender isso. Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Faz um pouquinho de primeira pessoa. Tem uma imersão um pouquinho diferente nessa missão aqui. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh 
Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. So I don't think you know those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand. Ah, que delícia, velho. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs, gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need I ain't playing dress up. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that. I don't know why I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. <laughs> Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor Mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. Man. Que maluquice da porra. Ai, 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 ai. Ai, cacete. Mas tentei. Que ideia de rico, mano. Isso aí não vai dar certo, velho. A gente tá se metendo na guerra entre essas famílias e a gente tá tentando lucrar com isso. Os caras são muito sujos, velho. É surreal isso. Ok, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Man. 
Aonde você vai parar, velho? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's a lucky guy. <risos> eu, tô, eu sou eu que tô controlando, tá? Só pra vocês saberem. Sério que porque o cara arrancou minha arma eu construí? Porra, pior que a missão tava mó divertida ali servindo bebida pra galera. Os caras tinham que chegar pra causar, velho. Tá difícil, tá travado, sabe, a movimentação por causa que eu tô dentro do bar. E os caras aparecem nos ângulos nada a ver, eu não tava esperando. Deus. Deus. 
Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. Bastards! <laughs> Ez a mi bunit a bár. Caraca. O trem ia pegar isso aí, mano. É o jeito de você manter o controle do mercado, né? Você não deixar mais ninguém trabalhar com aquele produto que você está trabalhando. Mas deu bom, a gente ganhou o dinheiro dos títulos nessa missão, o dinheiro da venda das bebidas para a mulher. Foi uma boa missão, velho. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Esse jogo é genial, velho. Caraca, que personagens bons, que história boa, meu Deus do céu. Foi bom, foi um bom episódio, foi uma boa jogatina. Vamos ver o que acontece agora lá no equipamento, é foda. About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, 
I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Mano, que plano genial, velho. Não tava entendendo aonde eles iam chegar. Não tava, velho. Mas é genial o fato de que a gente tá indo pros dois lados, mano. A gente vai roubar as duas famílias de mongolóides. <risos> a gente tem agora aqui ou com o John na fazenda dos Grey ou com o Hosey uh, na, na parte dos Braithwaite. Uh, eu tô um pouco preocupado com o Hosey. Um, porque eu acho que essa mina, essa velha não tá muito confiável. Porém, eu gosto mais das missões do John. Enfim, vamos se der, talvez a gente faça logo as duas e também a do Bill. No próximo vídeo, se você gostou, não esquece de deixar o seu like. Muito obrigado a todo mundo que assistiu. Tá incrível essa série, tá incrível esse jogo. Eu tô curtindo muito. Tô indo no meu ritmo, sem pressão, pra gente poder curtir bastante. Eu espero que vocês estejam gostando também, tá bom? Meus queridos, tamo junto. Um beijão, até a próxima e valeu.